So for Day of the Dead, uh, we actually decided to do a little ritual. We said a prayer for our loved ones who have passed that we hold also dearly in celebration of their life and the lessons we've learned from them. And on the other hand, we said a prayer to close up and heal ourselves from past relationships that have hurt us and no longer serve a purpose in our life. And we bid them goodbye. So in our culture, we used to go to the cemetery on Day of the Dead. We would sing for flowers and uh, light some candles. Um, whichever cemetery we choose to stay at, which is usually my dad's side of the family, we would light the candles and as the candles burn, and the wax melts, we make that melted wax into a big ball and we save it and we bond as cousins. We would share that whole night together eating food um, as well. And so uh, our little version of that here is uh, to say a prayer, offer a prayer for our beloved dead and the people that we are burying in our past um, in celebration of all the lessons we've learned from these people and moving forward and continuing with our lives um, as well as food. So it's a half mukbang, half little video of Day of the Dead. Hope you enjoy. Okay, it's Day of the Dead and we're walking. <laughs> On Day of the Dead, we are here gathered to say <laughs> what do we say? Bye. Bye. Good. <laughs> so <laughs> bye. <laughs> yeah, cheers. <laughs> this candle this actual wax oh. Oh. I offer this wax <laughs> <laughs> to all of our beloved dead and the ghosts of our past I like that okay. you second it and you third it <laughs> thanks guys so creative <laughs> all right end of video cut Boulevard area and to my right is the Pets Rest Cemetery, cemetery for animals and then to my left is like a Chinese cemetery and a casino where most of the, the people, <laughs> where most of the people go to play, um, you know, casino. Because at the casino they do have a wonderful restaurant which is open 24 hours and they serve Filipino food. They have longanisa, silog, or long silog, which is basically uh, sausage, egg and rice. They also have, you know, all the Filipino food, foods, uh, mostly breakfast foods. So long silog, which is the longanisa. They have top silog, which is the tapa or beef. And then they have corned beef silog, which is obviously corned beef and eggs. They have sinigang, which is sour tamarind soup. Um, what else is here? They have several other things. That's really good. I forgot what the restaurant is called but it is a favorite go-to for people who are going out clubbing and are hungry or just random munchies at night. Colma is situated on the San Francisco Peninsula. With most of Colma's land dedicated to cemeteries, the population of the dead, about 1.5 million as of 2006, outnumbers the living by nearly 1,000 to 1. This has led to Colma's being called the City of the Silent and has given rise to a humorous motto now recorded on the city's website. It's great to be alive in Colma. Let's eat! So this is Tosi Log, while that right there is Long Si Log. That's another Tosi Log. Fried pork belly, Filipino style, and kare kare. Cafe Colma is open 24 hours a day. It is affordable, has delicious dishes of authentic Chinese, Vietnamese, Filipino, and American food. However, I usually come here for the comforting Filipino food, so let's see. 
All right, it's time to try this toasty log. Bak. Usang, 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 usang. Bak. Usang, 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 usang. And last, bak. Usang, usang. Guess which one? Guess which one the frog is in?